the geese, the geese, the geese, the geese, the geese. <laughs> all the geese will be. No, no, no. Oh, you stay on here. Okay, you stay here. Oh, you stay here. So that you have an exclusive day. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. At 8 o'clock of today, I'm gonna go to the office and this is my daily routine. I am an office worker as you know and I also have so much work to do in the office. As a farmer, I am trying to divide my time in order to do all the things which I am obligated to do. Well, I decided to have these pets at home. and also making some business out of them. That's why I really had this uh, urge to wake up early in the morning and then look after my plants, look after the fish, and even the squails, the ducks, and the geese, and even the birds. And talking about birds, I'm so amazed that the last egg that hasn't been hatched by the mama cockatiel, that's Gloria, was hatched actually and there are already five of them and they're so cute very adorable to see inside the nest box being taken care of Gloria and this gives us the reflection that God enabled animals their natural way to be able to take care of their kids of their babies and then let them grow and let them fly without formal education so this is the reason why I'm so much inspired with nature I'm so much inspired with the nature of life because this gives us the assurance that in whatever things we do, we will just, you know, follow our instinct and we will become successful. We will make an update about the babies of our cockatiels and I'm so happy to let you see that they are already big. The youngest one, the last that was hatched, is just so small, but then it is so healthy. So come on, let's get inside. Of course, we will ask permission. We will do the rituals. We will make some whistles for them to understand that we are about to get inside in their beautiful cage. As I'm going to step on this stool, we will see the babies right here inside. I'm so excited. You know, when I was a kid, I really had that, uh, you know, this native parrot. And I've been taking care of that parrot for five years. And then I graduated from the elementary. And when it died, I cried a lot. I really cried a lot. I'm really attached to birds, especially with this new babies now oh they're sleeping whoa there are five of them i can count five heads and the one is very small <laughs> thank the lord for this and i hope to hand feed all these chicks in the near future maybe two weeks from now or three and we're gonna be making some update about this and by the way the inspiration that we have put in in this channel spread like a wildfire because many people are asking me about the tips on how to you know take care of this uh, chickens these ducks the squails and i'm so happy that in a little way i can i was able to inspire people and open their minds to do some good business out of our passion for animals 
And in fact, today, I'm going to attend a grow out challenge or grow out competition of goldfish. Actually, I was requested to become one of the major sponsors for this uh, competition. I'm so encouraged with this because uh, they said that the kind of videos that we have uploaded on YouTube inspired them to do a lot with goldfish breeding and I'm so happy for this. Just relax. <laughs> oh, very healthy. This ducks had been become wild. These are the remnants of the ducks that are there at the big farm that we had before. Talking about that big farm, I was already informed that they're about to make a survey and estimate how much they're gonna cost us, you know, buying that property. And uh, I hope to receive the payment soon. And as soon as we can receive the payment, that's the time that we will buy uh, these adjacent lots that are situated just very near here. And uh, we will release these ducks. Actually, we got this just this morning. And I would like to release them one by one here. Oh, These are just temporary. I hope to... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry. On here. On over here. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. You have new companion? Ah, okay, okay. Oh, no, I have here the food. Come on, go over here. Oh, you see, this is a new place for you. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> just relax, just relax. Okay, this is a new home for you guys. You became wild. You've been into places. The geese, the geese, the geese, the geese, the geese, the geese, the geese. <laughs> All the geese will be. No, no, no. Oh, you stay all here. Okay, you stay here. Oh, you stay here. So that you have an exclusive place. Oh, yes, that's it. Oh. Oh. You have my special treatment because you are good guards. And you make noise whenever there is a stranger during the night. <laughs> okay, some of you will eat there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, where's the baby? <laughs> okay. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Very delicious, very delicious. So 
somewhere. I am set to make some, you know, big tank here for our baby catfish and baby Japanese koi. So these are the things that I have in mind. And we cannot do this overnight. We are doing this very gradually because we are short of time. As I've told you, I'm so busy with the office work and this is my my sideline and also my therapy you know feeding all these animals during the morning In my previous vlog, I said that we have uh, created the cheapest tank and we spent around 3,000 to 4,000 pesos including the labor. And I just realized that we can still make cheaper, make it cheaper. What I'm talking here is I'm using the concrete hollow blocks, of course with the cement. And I did not anymore use the iron bars, but instead bamboos here to make this uh, strong. And it really is very strong here. <laughs> and it, this can contain thousands of uh, liters of water because the measurement is 3 meters by 12 meters over there. And this is in preparation for our baby catfish or baby kois. And we are also set to make another tank right here. So I will not use the cement because I am showing this in order to open the minds of our followers that you can still go on with this hobby or this business i should say without spending a lot of capital if you don't have that money yet to put up concrete tank and you can use this uh, concrete hollow block as our edgers and we will put the tarp over here so my plan is to make some canal over here for our piping system so we will put some pipe three pipes actually and then we will embed this pipe going towards here uh, Noel can you say hi to my vlog <laughs> you look at the camera here on camera Noel <laughs> and Noel has been great in doing this for me and uh, he can really get a you know, little instruction this is a bright man and we're using also here this uh, recycled uh, corrugated uh, roofings and you will also see that this is quite big so we were making some frame over here and we will use this one for the sidings right here just right here and then of course we will put the tarp and this is gonna be now our filtration bucket so we will plant the photos and some media put in here and this is going to be now a good filtration system that will enable our fish to grow faster. I have been so honest with you about the, the filtration because if you do like this and then you don't have the filtration system, uh, you don't have the mechanism on how to clean the water of the fish to extract the dirt out of the tank, then maybe that will only last for a few months. And after that, you will experience some trouble. But if you will take some steps in order to get out the dirt from the tank, then I'm very sure that well, you're gonna succeed. And I would like to let you see also the filtration system of our catfish. Ever since I utilized this tank for our catfish, we normally don't put too much attention about the filtration, but I decided because we are actually now producing thousands of babies, 
and it's uh, maybe suitable that we will also give them some comfort well it's really very best if you can also uh, give them some good water right here actually they're eating and for you to understand what I'm talking about let's have a look over here Wow, oh, this is it we're using a very small um, submersible pump of course and uh, we're lifting the water right here in this bucket and this bucket has uh, this uh, porous plants see and it has also some stones down under and I can see that the water now is beginning to be uh, clear and maybe tomorrow or at two days after we're gonna be seeing a very clear water for our catfish and uh, you know this catfish can be taken for granted unlike this Japanese koi and the goldfish and other tropical fish they really demand such uh, attention and even the uh, cleanliness of the water so I just hope that with the system this is very simple actually this is my wall my division to the other property this is elevated uh, a little bit elevated compared to this tank and I'm using this to be able to have a free flow of the water from the filtration right down here I just provided with the tube down under and this is connected right here the tube this one you see So we have here some baby dapnes for our baby Japanese koi and we are culturing them well they're here they're thriving oh plenty of them already right here you know these dapnes can be cultured if we will just put them a, a place they will multiply very easily of course we have starters One of the things that I also have discovered is that the water from the catfish together with some quail dung, you will put the quail dung in the water of the catfish, they can produce this dapnia. They are eagerly waiting for this because this is very delicious. These are the high pin Japanese koi. I would like to also share something about this one. Well, as uh, early as three, four days old, we are already making some cycling of the water. We cycle the water in order to provide good oxygen. And this will also uh, help our baby koi develop their bodies since they are not gasping for breath although they are overcrowded but because of the uh, oxygen that caused by this moving water then they gonna live in a very normal life though they are congested last time we filmed about how the harvest of this 5,000 goldfish right here and you will see that there are another buds that are so plenty oh you see that <laughs> if you are just uh, industrious and patient enough to do the little things these are manual tasks that you have to you don't have to forsake you won't believe that at midnight i will still come here and check my fish and that's how dedicated i am for the welfare of our fish and actually now um, we will get some these are 10 days old fish wow see that plenty and we are making a double time effort to be able to cater all the fish that we have hatched and produce there's no secret actually if you are also 
aiming to do this one, well, you have to review all the videos that we had on YouTube. And as we speak right now, we are breeding our red cups. And I can see so many eggs right here. Tomorrow, we are scheduled to breed the pearl scare. This one are the eggs of our shubunkins. And soon, we're gonna be seeing some baby shubunkins right there. So, this is it. You use this uh, nylon strands. Oh, well, these are the containers of the feeds, the rice, and we, you know, get the strands and then use that as our egg collector. And another tank that is filled with the babies are, you know, here. Wow. These are two days old babies. And this is very enjoyable. From nothing to hundreds or even thousands, this is an achievement that you can be proud about. And this business is very simple. You only need your effort as your capital and small amount of money for the publication or for the making of these boxes. And I hope, guys, that you are encouraged to do your thing. And I would like to make a shout out to the members of the channel, to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. And also to those ones who have made efforts to place their comments in the comment section. Thanks a lot. And I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World.